Today I'm trying out on a car that's not got a fault with the mass airflow sensor. The mass airflow sensor works okay. You see the one in white? Zero grams. Trying out a new sensor simulator to me. This is new to me, it's not a new tool. Uh, the AutoSim Pro. So first of all with the ignition on, I looked at what the waveform should look like. Zero to five volts, 50% duty cycle, 1.8 kilohertz. So now I've got a known good. I tried the sensor simulator on it, back probing into the relevant pins. The ground, I'll show you with my finger. The, the ground here and the power for the, no, the ground here and this one's the signal for the mass airflow. So I've gone into the relevant pins there to fool this, but it didn't work. It was saying something way higher than that. And what I realized was I had to use jumper cables on all the other four pins to the mass airflow sensor from the plug. So every other wire is doing something. And then I can use this one. The mass airflow one doesn't have a jumper wire going into the mass airflow sensor. That's the only one that's using the simulator, uh, the sensor simulator instead. The, the wire at the other side is just for my scan tool, so I know what's going in. And I'm getting that information sent from here. But at least with this, what I can do now is change on the control. I can change this. I've changed it to 2800 instead of 1800. So it says on the scan tool again, it's 2800. And now we're getting a change on here grams per second so this tool can be used on digital mass airflow sensors but in this case I've had to bridge all the other wires out so that's just one example of the mass airflow sensor on this Toyota which I think is a BMW engine and these are the sort of wires that I'm using for bridging it out very fine wires I've seen Sandy Anderson use something that I think was similar and that's the packet that it came into. So I thought I'd pass that on. I'm just experimenting, but if somebody's had trouble getting this to do a frequency, I'll change that again at one here. So it's 38. See there now? And we've had a response there. It's gone up. So we know this is working. It's just the main thing of this video is you need some of these little pins to bridge all the other wires out. That's the actual output on the scope. Hopefully that's going to help somebody out doing this digital mass airflow sensor test. Thanks for watching.